my channel. My name is Helen Velasquez and today I really want to make something for my dog. The idea started because my boyfriend's mother is gonna donate all these clothes she has. Here's the clothes. Well, to start with, I see a lot of colors, which is great because I actually want something like for a male dog since Django is a guy. But I'm just gonna be using my hands to sew. I don't really have like a sewing machine or anything here. A very basic sewing kit, like you can just get it in the pound shop and it's not the best quality, but it's what I got. I like this and it's like sweatpants. The only problem is it's not really gonna stand out of his color, like he's the same color as this. So we'll keep looking. So Django, what do you think? What looks good in here? I like this blue. And you would have a nice hood. This is basically made already for you. <laughs> yes. And that's how you do your pet's um, new outfit. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. You just choose something you already have. <laughs> and I'm totally kidding. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to see what we can do. I see a lot of potential. I like that gray there. Um, I see a lot of potential stuff here. We better get started because I have no clue <laughs> what are we going to do. So here we're going to go step by step to see how we achieve this beautiful outfit. Lay down the pants and just hold on to the waistline with the elastic and one of the leg size. So here I'm laying down the leg size and you want to make sure it's about the same length of your dog. I'm grabbing my pencil to just make the circles where his paws are, like how far apart from each other and about what shape or size. Once you have the shapes, you want to cut like circles with the scissors. And it's going to be looking something like this. Once you have that, you're going to have to try it on to see how well you're doing, how good it fits. And at this point, I was cracking up <laughs> because it was so tight on him. He could barely move, but I just needed to see how much I was going to take off. So I'm just folding the neckline and again, measuring to see how much I have to still cut off for Django to have more mobility. Stretching the fabric a bit helps. And yeah, try it again. So here I'm just seeing if he has freedom of movement mainly. And I just let him walk around a bit. And actually a good tip is letting him walk or run up and down the stairs to see how much he can actually move with that on. So on the back part, you're gonna have to like fold it and put some lines with a pencil again to see where you're gonna stitch it. The next step is with your waistline. It gets a bit fun here. So you're gonna grab the elastic and choose a thread that is similar colors to the fabric. I choose white here and you're gonna lay down the previous piece you have and you're gonna join it with this cool um, waist. We're gonna make it like the neckline. So you're gonna face it like upside down and into the first part when you folded the neck. I hope the video explains for itself, but I'll show a close, closer look in a few. Just start stitching like you would, be really careful. Okay, so here is how it should be looking. Mainly you're doing this because you want to hide it, like the bad stitches on the other side, which is here. It's going to be hidden under. So it's gonna be looking great. Once you have that, 
this is how it should be looking yeah the neck should be still pretty big so you cut it at the measure make sure you measure it with your dog again and because this has elastic inside uh yeah i decided to glue it so it doesn't move around and then here i'm just putting stitches in the back part of course this is just so it doesn't show where you cut it with scissors it's like more neat then get someone to help you in this i don't have embroidery thread so i did several layers of black that I chose, cut it, and then I had my embroidery needle. So this gives a gray effect for what I wanted, and you'll see in a second. So here it is, the holes, they ended up being like so much bigger than I thought. But I put black marker all over them and then and I went in with a black thread. This is how it's going to look. Basically, you just want to do the uh, like basic stitch. I don't know the names, but as close as you could. It's like to give it a nice detail more than anything. So you want it to show. And it's okay if it's irregular and not perfect because that's the whole point. Making it really, really organic. So I stitch the neck and I finish the nice black uh, sleeves and I added a detail which is this one of saying woof and I added these crosses in the back here am I with the final product and this is what I have left of the pants, like just one leg. This is the final little beautiful like romper. And it's amazing because I really captured what I wanted, which was sporty, but still minimalistic, like very, you know, I decided to type in the word woof. And I added a bit of detail with the same thread, just like black and white crosses. What else? Um, the sleeves, I just added this like really messy look, kind of like really laid back, handmade stitches. Um, so I also want to mention something really funny. Uh, I just got this jacket, right? This beautiful <laughs> romper has no pockets whatsoever, which is pretty devastating, like I need my pockets for either my hands or my keys or my cell phone. I was getting crafting doing this. Um, I added my own pocket. So yeah, that was the, that part there. You cannot really tell. And I think I did kind of like a good job hiding the stitches here. 